said, When the Dajjal will come out, a man from the believers will set out to meet him. He will be met on the way by armed men, armed men of the Dajjal. They will say to him, Where do you intend to go? He will say, I intend to go, this one who has come out. They will say to him, Do you not believe in our Lord? He will say, Our Lord does not have Kafa, literally concealment. Perhaps uh, p- referring to the, the, the Dajjal being one-eyed, they will say, Kill him. But some of them will say to the others, Did not your Lord forbid you to kill anyone outside of his presence? So they will go to the the Dajjal, and when the believer sees him, he will say, O people, this is the the Dajjal that the message of Allah mentioned. The the Dajjal will make an order, and he will be dealt a blow to the head. Then the the Dajjal will say, Take him, and strike him in the head. He will be given many severe blows to the back and the stomach, after which the Dajjal will say to him, Do you not believe in me? He will say, You are indeed a al-Messiah, the liar. Then an order will be made, and the man will be cut with a saw, from the parting of his hair until he is cut asunder. Between the legs then the Dajjal will walk, between the two halves, after which... He will say, Stand, and you, man, and the man will stand up straight. The Dajjal will say to him, Do you believe in me? He will say, I have gained only a clearer perception of you, that you are indeed the Dajjal. O people, he will not do to anyone after me the same as he did with me. The Dajjal will take him to slaughter him, but... He will be prevented by a barrier of copper that will be between his, the man's neck, and his collarbone, and and so the Dajjal will have no way to get at him. So the Dajjal will take him by his hands and legs and cast him away. The people will think that he threw him into the fire, but in fact he will have been thrown into paradise. The message of Allah said, With the Lord of all that exists, this is the highest martyr among people. Various a hadith about the Dajjal, the hadith of Abu Bakr al-Siddiq. Once, when Abu Bakr al-Siddiq recovered from a sickness, he went out to the people, apologized for something, and then said, Our intention was only for good. He then said, The message of Allah related to us that the Dajjal will come out in the land of the east. It is called Khurasan, a group of people who have fought faces, faces like shields will follow him related it the hadith of ali said we mentioned the dajjal in the presence of the prophet as he was sleeping he woke up red in color and he said other than that do i fear more upon you the hadith related from malik from his father from his father that the messenger of allah said Every single prophet described the Dajjal to his nation, and I will describe a quality of his that no one before me has described regarding him. He is indeed one-eyed, and Allah Azzawajal to him belongs might and majesty, and not one-eyed, is not one-eyed. Related that the that he heard the message of Allah say indeed there was never a prophet except that he was that he has warned his people about the Dajjal and I am warning you about him. The message of Allah then described him for us and said, Perhaps some who see me and hear my speech will reach him, will be alive when he comes out. The companion said, O Messenger of Allah, how will our hearts will how will our hearts be at that time he said the same as today or better it is related by tirmidhi who said that it is hassan abu dawood related it as well and ahmad related uh, a part of it listen to as he was relating from the message of allah when the dajjal was mentioned in his presence he said it is as if one of his two eyes is glass and seek refuge in Allah from the punishment of the grave. Message of Allah said, I am indeed.